Oh, thanks for the introduction, Dave. Oh, my <laughs> now, before I start, I know everybody hates long things. Boring speeches at weddings. So with that in mind, can I just ask that nobody interrupts me? <laughs> <laughs> no shouting, and certainly no heckling. Um, <laughs> if anyone desperately feels the need to take the mic, then please feel free. You're sitting just here there. Mick, <laughs> Mick is wearing his uh, suit today from Giacomo. <laughs> And uh, it's not too small for him, apparently. It's just a muscle fit design. <laughs> <laughs> now, they've got the time in everyone's life when they're looking for that one special person. Someone they love, someone they care for. So, there comes a time in someone's life when they're looking for that one special person. Someone they love, someone they care for, and someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Thankfully for Dave, that moment came 25 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. It's My name's Scott Ostend, and I'm the best man. And after knowing Dave for a quarter of a century, I've realised that I know absolutely nothing about him. <laughs> I don't know his favourite film, I don't know his address, I don't know a clue what he does for a living. But one thing I know about Dave is that he genuinely is my best friend. As all best mates should do, I'm going to spend the next few minutes trying to humiliate him as much as I can. <laughs> but before I do that, can I just say that Amy, on behalf of everyone here today, you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> your dress, your hair, the makeup, you are what they call the perfect bride. So congratulations. And Dave, um, well, thanks for coming. Uh, <laughs> now Dave's looking pretty smart today. He's dressed the same as me, so I'm not going to criticise his appearance too much. But, uh, congratulations to you as well, Dave. Now, when Dave first told me that he'd asked Naomi to marry him, I obviously started to wonder, where might he have popped the question? Could he be up the Eiffel Tower in the romantic city of Paris? Could he be on a gondola paddling his way? <laughs> <laughs> of Rome watching the sunset go down behind the Colosseum. Well, Dave wasn't in any of those places. David marched Amy up a load of steps in the pitch black darkness of Whitby Bay, only to propose to her, you guessed it, in a graveyard. And just to be clear, as if the graveyard wasn't enough, Whitby isn't the city of romance, it's not the home of culture. Whitby is actually the town best known for its scampi. <laughs> so that's the level of romance we're talking here when it comes to Dave. Now it might surprise you that Dave hasn't always been popular with the ladies. And oh. thinking about it, I don't think he's been popular with any lady of the name. Like <laughs> and over the years, Dave has been described as a metrosexual. <laughs> and he was once called a pervert after asking for a fish finger sandwich on a night. <laughs> I received a text from a girl on holiday saying, please can you tell your friend he's a pathetic excuse of a man. <laughs> now I don't know what Dave had done to deserve that, but believe me I took great pleasure in passing on this. <laughs> and I know it's his wedding day, you know, it's his big occasion, but if anyone gets the chance this evening to call Dave a pathetic excuse of a man, then please take it. <laughs> that before Amy, Dave did have one other very serious relationship, and that came on one of our famous lads holidays in Cyprus. Now Cyprus was a great holiday actually. Uh, our beach buggy broke down one day and we had to get picked up on a recovery truck. We couldn't eat on another day because we'd spent all of our money on some new sunglasses. And we actually found a dead body on the way back home one night, which is a, it's a true story. Uh, so, as far as holidays go, they don't get much better than that. <laughs> but the worst memory for me on that trip was when Dave turned to me on the very first day and he asked the dreaded question that no one wants to be asked on a lad's holiday. 
He turned to me with no top on and rather small swimming trunks. And he said, Stitch, can you have a bit of cream on my back? <laughs> And on that holiday, it also made me realise that Danny's actually one of those people. He can spend a week in the Mediterranean sunshine, and he still comes back more pale than when we first got here. Although for those on the stag do recently, he seemed to pick up a bit of a tanny bristle uh, growing around in all places. But anyway, back to the holiday romance. Now, every morning, myself and Danny used to go to a bar called Baywatch for a full English breakfast. <laughs> and after a couple of times of going in, I noticed there was a little camp waiter in there called Ramon. And he kept giving Dave a little smile whenever he came over to our table. I also noticed that Dave was. Yeah. I also noticed that Dave was getting more mushrooms than me on his, for his breakfast. <laughs> As the days went on, he started getting more bacon too. Then it was more eggs, and then more beans. And I knew at that moment it was only a matter of time before Ramon would start slipping Dave an extra sausage. <laughs> no need to panic anymore. Rumour has it now that Ramon has moved on from Cyprus. He's now working over at the resort of Gran Melia Palacio de Azora in Tenerife. Is that where you're Well, Dave, now that you're a married man, Ramon might want to have a closer look at your ring. On a serious note now, I know a lot of effort has gone into organising this wedding. And I think on behalf of everyone here today, we'd like to uh, thank you both for allowing us to be part of your special day. You're a great couple, you've got a beautiful daughter, and I'm genuinely honoured to be doing this speech, even if there is a few uh, feedback issues coming through. And that is it. So it's been a great day, and it's almost time to start welcoming all the boring, sober evening guests who weren't quite worthy of a daytime in the day. <laughs> Before the dinner comes out, and no, no, it's not a fish finger sandwich, you put her. <laughs> but I ask you all please to grab your drinks as we're going to make a toast. <laughs> For the third time. Just the one drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> so, <laughs> so, what we hope is going to be the final time. Just today. Can you please raise your glasses and join me in wishing them a very special couple. All of the best for the future, to many happy memories and many years of happiness. Yay. To David Yay. Ramon! We'll do it again. To David Amy.